Hi everyone, Georgetown Soaps here. I am testing a fragrance. It is called Winter Cranberry by, and this is a Bath and Body Works dupe. The official description is a crisp blend of red apple, black currant, and sparkling cranberry. And it's just, it smells really good. I don't know how else to explain it, but it smells like a great, fantastic cranberry scent. Um, I love cranberry fragrances around the holidays. Um, I think this one, it would be great in soap, but I think it would also be fantastic in candles. So I'm going to definitely add this to my candle list um, when I get all of my uh, holiday and fall candles ready to go. Um, it smells fantastic. It did fine. It did not rice. It didn't accelerate. It performed just perfectly. Um, the one thing I'll say about this design is after I made it, I was like, what am I thinking? I just did not like the design. I was trying to think, what does winter cranberry look like? And so I used some titanium dioxide. I used the gold mica. I probably used too much gold. I probably would have maybe done it more of an accent to kind of get the winter festive look going on. But I think I just used way too much gold in the design. Um, and then I used the deep rose mica. This is one of my favorite micas from Be Scented. It's definitely like a cranberry color, um, a deep wine, deep red wine color. So it's super, super nice. So again, this is only a two pound batch. Um, my customers will not even notice. It was just one of those few soaps that I make where the design comes out and I'm kind of like, eh. As I was making it, I was kind of like, eh, not so thrilled with it. But hey, we all have one of those soaps once in a while. So anyway. Um, getting all my colors ready again it behaved fine um, I probably should have mixed the titanium dioxide part a little bit more because it's a little too runny but you know such is life what do you do about that so I'm gonna get everything ready and I will uh, get everything poured and in the mold for you and I'll be back
So here you go. You can see that the titanium dioxide part, the white part, is just was not quite thick enough. Um, should have added stick blended a lot more. It was very, very runny. So when I'm trying to stir it in, it's still very liquidy. Um, it comes out fine. It's just kind of makes it a little bit difficult to work with um, when you're trying to clean up and just kind of work on the swirl because it just doesn't doesn't incorporate quite the same way. But again, live and learn. Um, so I just tried to, again, I wasn't really feeling the whole design or the color scheme. I probably should have done less of the gold, but no big deal. Um, not that big of a batch. So I'm glad if I was going to mess up on this one, no big deal. It's only two pounds. I just wasn't inspired. I don't know. The fragrance smells so good. I don't know why I wasn't inspired. But anyway, um, here is the cut. It came out fantastic. Um, or the soap, it cured, it came out of the mold fine. Um, kind of reminds me of the Redskins. I'm here in DC and our colors are burgundy and gold and white. So kind of a Redskins theme soap. I don't know. Not sure that they're winter cranberries. But anyway, here's the cut. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you grab this fragrance from Be Scented in a few weeks when they have it released. Have a great day.